<laughs> now we're going to go to Jerry in Santa Clarita. Hi, Jerry. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hey, Leo. Hey. Um, I got a Asus motherboard, and I went into the BIOS and overclocked it with using the AI tweaker, and it got like 4% higher. And then uh, I was messing around, and I, I went into the uh, – I downloaded the software called AI Suite, and I ran the five point optimization and it overclocked it more. So I'm like at 4.9 gigahertz. Nice. Yeah. Well, I was just wondering if that's, you know, too high. Is there any way I could, like, uh, so here's how you'll know if it's too, the software. <laughs> here's how you'll know if it's too high. Yeah. Uh, it'll be unreliable. Huh. So either you'll get some cr weird crashes or, or hangs. If the thing runs reliably at a higher clock speed, you're golden. And this is something called overclocking, and it's funny. We used to do this a lot because uh, the, the way they make microprocessors, they do something called bin sorting. So Intel will make a chip and then test it, and they'll sort them into different bins for the maximum clock speed that chip can handle. But it doesn't always turn out they need that many chips from that bin. They may need, you know what, we need... Uh, more uh, slow chips. We're selling a lot of these slower chips, so they'll take a chip from a faster bin and sell it as a slower. The market is a slower chip. Turns out it can be run faster because that's really the only distinction. It's the same silicon. It's just the speed at which it can run. So uh, in the early days of overclocking, like 10 years ago, it was discovered, for instance, there was a particular Celeron that you could double the speed of, and it would run reliably because they were all bin sorted at a lower uh, speed than they really were. So I guess that's still around a little bit, but cooling becomes the issue. You have to, to overclock, you're going to turn the clock speed up on the BIOS, and then you're going to probably want to turn the voltage up a little bit to support it. And then the chip is going to start getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> and then it gets unreliable. So there's a point beyond which you can't go. But if you're not getting unusual crashes... If you're not getting uh, anything weird and you're getting, and you know, how much you said what, how many, a few percentage points faster? Yeah, sixteen uh, percent. Yeah, that's that's not a huge amount. You're Plus, it it stacked on top of the BIOS upgrade or overclock, which was four percent, so I'm twenty like percent. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I thought so, but I'm not damaging the chip in it at all. Well, you can; it can get overheated, but usually it'll crash before it gets burned. So generally, what overclockers do is they invest in better cooling. Which, of course, means okay, that yeah. they've spent more money to get the chip to run faster. But, you know, sometimes even use liquid cooling in cases like that. Right. It's not getting over, like, 50 Celsius, so. Yeah. 50 is pretty hot, but probably not hotter than it's rated for. So as long as, as, long as you're, it's, yeah, you're, so that's good. You're watching the temperature. Uh, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's been reliable. That's awesome. AI Tweaker. Yeah, uh, it's a AI Suite. It's it comes with the Asus motherboard. Yeah, the A stands for uh, Asus, and the reason uh, right, right. that you know Asus distributes that is because uh, they they want you to. They're proud of the fact that their motherboards can support that. A lot of chips are clock locked. I you know I haven't really looked into the overclocking scene lately, so I don't know what's going on if uh, Intel is discouraging it or not. But I do notice that more people are doing this, so I have a feeling Intel is now shipping unlocked chips what they did for a while is because they didn't want people to buy these cheaper chips and run them at a higher speed is they would clock lock them and that would stop you from doing it um so i don't think that's too bad as long as you don't go over 60 celsius i think you're uh, i think you're okay that's pretty cool